Hello! You've come along to the Division with Materials lesson. So again, we're going to be using these tasty materials to help us do some division and looking at different maths equations. So because we're doing division, we need to take a closer look at what the division symbol looks like. So it's a little line with two dots above and below. When I see the division symbol, that shows me that I have to take the first number and I have to share it out to how many groups there are in the second number. Now this one's a little bit trickier than addition and subtraction, but when I show you with the materials, it'll make a little bit more sense. Okay, so let's have a look at the word problem and see if we can figure it out by dividing or sharing the M&Ms into groups. So here's the word problem for us to look at, and I'm gonna read it out. So I have six M&Ms, and I need to share them evenly with three friends. So what that will look like on the equation is like this. I have six M&Ms and I need to divide or share it between three friends. And the equals is asking me how many M&Ms will each friend have? Now I said a keyword in there and that was evenly, which means they all have to have the same amount. All right, let's have a go. Okay, so let's have a look at what the word problem says. I have six M&Ms all together and I need to share it between three friends. Now I'm gonna share them out one by one so I make sure that each of my friends gets the right amount or the even amount of M&Ms. So let's share it out one at a time. For one friend, for my next friend, and my next friend. So at the moment they've got one M&M each and I've shared out three all together. Now I've got three left, so I'm gonna share them out one by one again. So first friend, second friend, third friend. Right, looking at our equation, I have six M&Ms all together and I shared them out into three groups for my three friends. And the equals is asking me, how many does each friend get? Let's have a look at how many are in each group. So there's two in this group, two in this group, Two in this group, which means that each of my friends gets how many each? Two each. So let's write that down on the equation. So the whole equation is six divided by three equals two. All right, let's see if we can do some more of those. Okay, let's start off with a simpler one doing all together. This is two M&Ms divided by two groups or two M&Ms shared between two people and how many will each person get? So let's see, I've got two M&Ms in front of me and let's share them out into two even groups. One for that friend and one for that friend. How many does each friend have or how many are in each group? One, perfect. So two divided by two equals one. Okay, our next equation is four M&Ms shared between two people or two groups. So how many will each group have? So let's use these four to divide up. So I'm gonna do it one by one again. One for that person, one for this person, one for that person, one for this person. So I've had four M&Ms and I've shared it between two groups. How many are in each group? Let's have a look. This person has two and this person has two. So our answer is two. Oop, that's a funny two. Four divided by two equals two. Okay, here is the last one that we're gonna do all together before you try some on your own. Now this one is a bit of a bigger one, but we can do it all together with the materials. So we've got 10 M&Ms and I need to divide or share it between five groups. And the equals is how many will each group or each person have? So let's do it again one by one. I've got 10 M&Ms in front of me and I need to share it or divide it into five even groups. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. All right, I've got five left over. Let's share them one by one again. One, two, three, four, five. So I have 10 M&Ms all together and I've shared them or divided them between five different groups. 
How many does each group have? Let's have a look. This group has two, 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 and two. So they all have two, which tells us that our answer is two. So 10 divided by five equals two. Okay, that's all we're gonna do together. But if you pause on the next slide and you can see some equations that you can try and figure out by yourselves, and remember to get someone to check your answers to make sure you are doing them correctly. So you have fun with that and I'll see you soon.